Let's bring in retired Lieutenant General Keith Kellogg, former National Security Advisor to Vice President Mike Pence, and now co-chairman for the Center for American Security and, of course, a Fox News contributor. Uh, General, good to have you with us today. Good you to know, be with I'm you, I'm really Martha. struck by what Mike Tobin is reporting about yeah. Mariupol, and I want people to just think about that for a moment. So the people who are going to try to dig people out of the basement of that bombed area are being shot at. And, and then you've got, yeah. I mean, it's a split screen that you couldn't make up, right? So on the other side of the screen, you've got Vladimir Putin walking around in his big down jacket and his turtleneck uh, saying that he's saving Ukraine from neo-Nazis so, and genocide. So it appears, mm -hmm. unless, you know, I, that, that the genocide that's happening is against the people of, of Ukraine by, on the part of, of Russian airstrikes and the soldiers who are carrying those airstrikes out as well, sir. Yeah, Martha, look, you're seeing classic examples of war crimes 101 when you see stuff that's happened in Maripol. But, but look, here's what's interesting to me overall, the big picture of it is he's had a real problem trying to take the primary target, which is Kyiv, and eliminate the government. He's stalled out. So what's happening right now, he's refitting, rearming, and he's probably going to plan B in the north at least, because plan A failed. That was to take Kyiv immediately eliminate the government. And plan B is going to be, do we rubble Kyiv? Do we go to the west? Do we, hit, do we go to street-to-street to street fighting in Kyiv? Do we just uh, settle for the eastern part of the country and not the western part of the country? And at the same time he's trying to make those decisions, we need to make decisions here in the west. And those decisions are, are do we put a, an umbrella, an iron dome over the western part of Ukraine to make sure those cruise missiles don't get in or those aircraft don't get in? Do we, do we start activating our intelligence community, our Title 50 group, uh, for, to go into unconventional warfare or covert activities to support the Ukrainians? Because it, the way it looks to me, watching Putin today at that rally, this is a fight to the finish. I, I, he doesn't want a diplomatic off-ramp, and I don't see one starting either. I think there should be one, but I don't see one going there. He's in this to, to, to the end game. And what he is doing in Mariupol and other places is absolutely horrific. And this is, we're going to keep seeing scenes like this for the next one week, two weeks, three weeks, or four weeks till this is battle complete. Do you think that Ukraine, Ukrainian forces can win this fight? I mean, take us forward in this process. Do you yeah. think that is a potential yeah. outcome here? Yes, I do. I think, and here's what I mean by a win. Is the, I think they can at least go to a stalemate that he has to negotiate, and a stalemate to Putin is a loss. The other is Putin may win this overall by sheer numbers, but it's a Pyrrhic victory. And what he has shown to the world, his military isn't that good. His command and control isn't that good. It shows what kind of a person we, we've all known him to be, but he's shown in, in public. We've seen what kind of nation Russia is, and it's going to be a pariah nation. So overall, could he win physically at the end? Yeah, but he's going to lose the long fight because Ukrainians are proud people. Ukrainians are not going to quit. Zelensky is not going to quit unless they, they take him out, eliminate him. So over the long term, I think there's at least a 50-50 shot that the Ukrainians can win this. I think, to me personally and professionally, I think it's better than that. But, but they've got a shot at this, and we just need to give them as much, at the very least, moral support and equipment support as we can as they go forward. It's going to be some tough days in front of us. General Keith Kellogg, thank you, sir. Good to have you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.